In this presentation we're going to look at the augmented matrix that we would use to solve a system of linear equations. So a system of linear equations would be for example these three equations we have here x1, 2x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 equals 5 that's one of our equations the other two are in the same format there. We have three unknown variables there is some value of x1 some value in x of x2 and some value of x3 which we are trying to determine so the uh, one possible approach there is to use a matrix based approach and one of the stepping stones uh, uh, to get to that solution is to use an augmented matrix so let's see how we would find the augmented matrix for this set of equations well, the first approach thing we have to do is set this up, the system, system of linear uh, equations in matrix form. So what we're going to do first off is consider the uh, coefficients. Now the coefficients are these values here. I'm going to add in some of the coefficients to make it clear. So we have x1 here, but I'm actually going to write that as 1x1, 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 1x2, sorry, and uh, 1x2 down here. Sometimes we might have uh, x1 plus x2, but nothing for x3. We might write in a 0 there just to keep it consistent. So what we're going to do is write down these coefficients as a matrix. So in the first uh, column we would have 2, 1 and 1. Two, one 2 from here, 1 from here and 1 from here. In the second column we're going to have 1, 3 and 1. And finally in the last column we would have 3, 5 and minus 2. Just be careful to uh, be mindful of the signs, the plus sign and the minus sign. Now what we're going to do here is write the name of the variables in column form. So we have x1 here, x2 here and x3 here. Okay. And so just be mindful that we're actually they're arranged in rows in this uh, in, as a system of linear equations. But when we write them in matrix form, we would actually write them in column format. And lastly, we're going to write the uh, other uh, values over here also as a column matrix. Now, what we're specifically interested in is how to write the augmented matrices. So I'm going to give the ma these three matrices uh, names. I'm going to call this matrix A this coefficient matrix. Th this I'm going to call X and this matrix here I'm going to call B. Okay. So what we're, uh, how we construct the augmented matrix is uh, using A and B together. So, so what we would do is to join A and B into a uh, combined matrix so this is our augmented matrix here. This is the augmented matrix. So up on top here we have A, X and B and here you can see we have A and B and we've joined them together. Now just to make uh, the distinction between which parts are which we would generally write some dots in between the two um, components of the augmented matrix to sort of specify what came from where. And anyway, that is our augmented matrix.